What's up guys, it's Drew6006 coming at y'all with a video review of the Huawei Ascend Q for ClearTalk Wireless. The device retails right now at $174.99 on a month to month contract and it's $50 a month for only text, talk, data, everything. 50 bucks a month across the board. So with this, the opening of the video, let's jump into the review guys. Okay guys, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do kind of a unboxing, reboxing of the device. This is the device itself. Very nice little device. Um, so here we go. Opening the box, you get a Huawei quick start guide, your device warranty information. Comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone set, which is actually a pretty nice headset. I've used it a few times. A micro USB charging cable and sync cable, as usual and then your power charging brick so what we're going to go over real fast first is it is a tri-mode CDMA 800 1700 AWS and 1900 band device it's EVDO Rev A and B it is powered by a 800 megahertz CPU processor it's Android version 2.3.6 the device is the Huawei Ascend Q M660 it comes with a 3.2 megapixel camera it has a HVGA 3.2 inch full touch display 4 gigabytes of internal uh, ROM built in and it comes with a 8 gigabyte SD card now, what I like about the device more than anything, as I bump the camera as I'm moving up, is that it comes with a full QWERTY physical keyboard. I mean, we don't see this many much on new devices, and there's a lot to be said to having you know a touchscreen device. Personally, my my main device is my iPhone 4, which soon will be upgraded to iPhone 5 in the near future. Um, but back to this device. The device is a wonderful device. I've had it a week today. I have it through ClearTalk as my business line. And the price structure for the device is $159.99 online price. And in store it's $174.99. But if you bought in store for $174.99, that includes your first month of service and all of that. And with that, you get $50 a month, you get unlimited talk, text, web, data, picture mail. 411 everything so it's a very good deal and the best point is it's 50 bucks a month across the board that's taxes everything included so that's a really really nice feature to have so with that let's jump into the device um, like I said it is running Android 2.3.6 Huawei has added a few customizations to the user interface which I really do like when you come to the unlock screen you can go to your right to just unlock the device you can go to your left to go to your messaging bottom for your camera and up to the top of the screen to launch your recent telephone calls so let's unlock it um, a few things you'll notice is they did do quite a bit of customization to the interface which I really like I think they did very well it's not intrusive and the thing is is what you can go into right here into your menu settings I just go let's do this first um, you have three uh, captive touch buttons here you have your menu to your far left you have your home in the middle and your back to your right under that you have your full QWERTY keyboard on the left side of the device you have your volume rocker up and down top of the device you have your power button your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then back here you have your 3.2 megapixel camera with no flash which kind of sucks but the camera does take decent pictures I haven't used it that much but for what it does it does deal it's not going to shoot like a DSLR or anything like that but for a quick photo with the family or something and you see it's kind of cool it does the job on the right hand side of the device there's nothing on it the bottom you have your microphone and your micro USB charging point and let me also add that it is DTS certified for sound it does have very very good sound quality and also above the camera lens is your uh, secondary microphone for video recording your speaker here for speaker phone calls uh, anything of that nature um, with that the back is also a nice soft touch back which is really kind of cool because the rest of the device is very very slick and with that on the back it gives you a better grip and one thing I will also like to, I want to talk about with it is you know when I judge a device when I'm holding it 
if you hold the device and you're holding it and you can squeeze it in your hand putting a good bit of pressure on it and the device budges and squeaks and kind of does that kind of stuff you know the build quality of the device is not top top notch with this device I'm very impressed for it I'm pushing pretty hard all the way around this device and it's not budging okay but with that let's jump into the software side I love the the way it runs we're gonna go ahead and just open up the message from clear talk here talking about uh, just general information about the account how everything's set up what is really nice is that the QWERTY keyboard has a wonderful feel. I mean, it's got a very, very tactile feedback for the keys. Now, in portrait mode here, you cannot just type, uh, touch this where you would usually compose your message at to go in there and change all your information or input text, or what I should have said. Then, when you go into landscape mode, you can type that and you get a standard Android keyboard, which is really cool. So, that's a really nice feature. You have your regular home screens. Um, one thing that I did miss about going from Android to iOS is the power grid. The power grid is such a nice little feature. You have everything you want. You have your Wi-Fi on and off, your Bluetooth, GPS, auto sync, brightness, all of that in one quick, easy to find location. I miss that. But it's not a big enough of a missing link for me to consider going back to an Android as my primary device. Like I said, this device is used as my business phone for 806communications.webs.com. Uh, other than that, this device is basically used for just business telephone calls, text messaging, emailing, doing Twitter, Foursquare, stuff like that. But the device has got a great feel to it, has wonderful sound quality. Let's see, we'll go into sounds real quick. We'll go into just the um, regular sound here. I have just a plain old ringtone here, and we'll just go into nice we got go to ringtones Zedge. I use Zedge for ringtones because it's a very very good program. I like playing Night Rider 2008. And as you can tell, it has a very good sound quality. Uh, with that, you have your standardized uh, Android keyboard. And what's cool about this is you can you can dial your telephone number here, or if you prefer, you can dial your telephone number on the QWERTY keyboard down here. So I mean, it's it's a really nice device. Um, had this phone off charge since about. 7:30 this morning, and as of right now, I'm down to about 62% battery, and that is with using a live wallpaper. Uh, don't really always use live wallpaper, but I found this one; it was free. It looked pretty cool, so why not go ahead and use it? But with that, uh, the device is a great device, guys. ClearTalk's network has gotten so much better. The device supports EVDO Rev A and B, so you do get high-speed 3G data on the device, which is a big plus for a carriers such as ClearTalk where their main thing is is unlimited everything all you can eat um, nothing other than that is really exciting about the vi device it's a good I would say more of a entry-level Android device than a mid to a high-end range device ClearTalk does have a few high-end uh, Android devices and I think that they are the two high-end devices is the Alcatel, I believe, Valken Android, and it's retailing at $259.99. You can go to their website, cleartalkwireless.com, to view all of their devices and plans. Um, but with that, guys, this is a sort of a quick review of a device. Um, don't know what else to cover, so if you guys have anything else you want to know about the device or be covered or have any video responses, please like and share our videos. With that, guys, I'm Drew6006. Have a good night.